A key feature of raising Caturnian's quail is being able to sex your birds, hens and roosters, working them out so you can get your ratios right. I'm going to give you seven different ways you can sex your Caturnian's quail. Some of these are foolproof, some of these are a bit more like an indicator. They help you to go, oh, that one probably is a rooster, and so therefore I'll put that aside for now, and then you test them out later on. Now the seven different methods I use are vent, feather, crowing, mating, feathers pulled out in the back of the neck, weight, and fighting. Now some of those are foolproof, others are more indicators and you think probably it's going to be a rooster, probably a hen based on what I've seen. And usually it's correct, uh, but there are other ones that are much more foolproof. And the best one is vent sexing. So the vent is where everything comes out. It is different between the roosters and hens. The rooster has a swollen, when we get into the adulthood, they have a swollen cloaca, that's the vent, that's the technical term for it. It gets swollen, it, it emits a, a, a substance when you press down on it, white substance. That's not sperm, it's just pheromones and, uh, and other secretant. It's not actually the sperm, but you can press down on it and that foam will come out and that's obviously a rooster. It's a little bit swollen area. The hen on the other hand, it's much flatter, it's wider because they have to pass eggs obviously so they need it a lot wider and you can usually tell, the more experience you get, you can tell at a younger age, it takes me a little bit longer, I can tell definitely around eight weeks, sometimes around six weeks, uh, but yeah it's pretty obvious when you get used to it. So in terms of vent sexing, I've got a male here, a rooster, so I'm just going to show you if I come up to the screen, hopefully you can see this. The rooster has a very swollen cloaca, the vent is the swollen area, see it's a bulge and if, if you touch that you'll see white foam, it's definitely a male. Now I have a hen, so if I can show you, the vent is a, a wider slit and it's it's not raised, it's not swollen like it was on the rooster. And if I press down there's a, there's no foam will come out. It's just a wider vent to allow the egg to exit. The second one is feather sexing. Feather sexing is quite interesting. There's a few different ways to do it. The chest is the easiest to see and it's only visible in certain colors. So with the wilds, they're the brown, more natural ones. Uh, the, the rooster has a more of a rusty chest. It's a single sort of color, rusty colored. Stands out like a mile when you see them and get used to it, whereas the, the hen has more of a speckly blotch. You can see that. That's true also on the Italians. The hen will have the black spots, whereas the Italian male will have more of a, just a washed out color on the front. Uh, there are a couple other variants like that as well. This rather feisty rooster, one of the wild color variants, has a rusty chest. These are one of the easiest to tell from by far the easiest to just look at the chest it's rusty it's one sort of color right the way down the chest that's a rooster you can tell them very early on after about three or four weeks that's why they're so popular because they're easy to distinguish at an early age this is one of the wilds and you can see the speckly chest that means it's a hen there's also the hood with the feather sex so the hood on some variants um, particularly manchurians uh, Italian, you can tell it's rooster. In terms of feather sexing, this one has a brown hood, which means it's a male, a rooster. And another thing, males tend to have brown, they have sort of like a Zorro mask around here, a couple of stripes. They're usually brown, whereas the hens have a black stripe. It's something to look for. You'll see on this young hen that you get more of the black markings across the face. It hasn't quite developed yet, but these stripes, and that uh, represents a hen. Whereas the males tend to have a lot more brown, the females have black. The next thing with the crowing, obviously 99.99% .99 of birds that crow are roosters. You'll get a very rare occasion where a hen will attempt to mock or imitate a, a, a rooster, uh, but it's usually, you can usually pick it out. The roosters are very powerful, they stand up until they can and you can't miss it and that is a rooster so you can identify them pretty quickly and that's that's usually a good way to do it when they start doing it around five six weeks and you can start identifying them then. Yeah. 
The next is obviously the mating process. So with mating, you'll see a rooster jump on the back of a hen and pull on the neck. It's a very distinct pull on the back, hairs at the back of the, feathers at the back of the neck, pull it up and push down to get a cloacal kiss, which is transferring the sperm. So you'll see that the rooster will do that. You can identify the rooster quite easily and obviously you can identify the hen. So that's one way to do it. Uh, but you need to be there when it happens. And mating is one way to tell. It's a little bit hard to tell, but the feathers on the back of the neck of this panda bird have been pulled out. That's how you can tell that this is a hen. You will see some of the older hens get the feathers on the back here. We've been jumped on so often that the, the feathers just don't grow back as well. This is how you tell this is a... It's a, it's a hen, but it's a, also an older one. The other one is weight. The roosters are small, a fair bit smaller than the hens. Hens are quite big. They need to lay the eggs. They tend to gather more weight. And they need more internal organs, so they have to be able to produce the egg. They tend to be rounder, a lot heavier. So generally just looking at them, especially some of the older birds, because they fill out. If you get past eight weeks, up to 12 weeks, you'll see them get a bit fatter. And then you can tell that's, that's probably a hen. This fat bird is a hen. You can tell it's quite round and it's quite low to the ground when it's walking. It's kind of waddling, big, big mama. Yeah, that's a hen. The last one is fighting. Uh, the roosters tend to fight a lot more. So you'll see them stand up toe to toe and just go. You will occasionally see hens fight, but it's over pretty quick. Whereas the roosters, sometimes they'll just go nonstop and they'll chase each other around the cage. That's usually a rooster type thing to do, especially when they're competing, trying to mate and they'll fight each other. Usually that's a rooster. But again, it's just an indicator. Sometimes the hens can get a bit stroppy as well and fight, but usually it's, it's, it's a rooster that does that. So that's seven different ways that oh, I think you can identify your roosters and hens.